Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome to Soma. And happy spook month, everybody. It's October, and you know what that means? That means I'm about to scream and piss so many times over, all at the same time, and it's going to be terrifying. So now, if you guys don't know, last Halloween, last uh, last sort of spook marathon or whatever the fuck we were doing, I was so confident. I went into this so confident, because horror movies, I'm fine with horror movies. But, uh, hadn't really played all that many horror games before, till last year. And then I wet myself. I didn't wet myself. I came very, very close, though. My bladder nearly burst as we were playing a little indie horror game called Layers of Fear. Very nearly. Couldn't finish it. So, this is a horrible idea, but I feel like I have grown over the last year. I feel like I have become more of a man. So, I think we're ready for another shot at this, even if it is the 9th of October and I've been putting this off for as long as I could. But here we go. Welcome to Soma. Uh, the game from Frictional Games, who made Penumbra and Amnesia, two of the most, you know, iconic horror games of the 2000s, possibly ever, and amazing games in their own right. Welcome to Soma. Because I know Amnesia's terrifying, and I didn't want to start off with the scariest one they got. So here we go. I am rambling as much as I can to avoid pressing new game. But I'm gonna press it. Nothing happened. There you go. Game mode normal. Well, game mode safe. The way the game was designed from the start. Yeah, we're gonna go with normal. I'm a brave boy, a little bit. Not at all. This is gonna kill me, isn't it? Uh... Now, I should say I'm totally blind to this game. I have no idea what the game is, what it's about. All I know is it's a uh, sci-fi horror. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Oh, that sounds perfectly fine. That happens to the best Here, of us, buddy. This. Don't worry. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Isn't a bad idea to tell the game I'm already creeped out? Hello, phone. What are you exactly? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett. Oh yeah, yeah everything seems just about fine My right now. David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Good old Munchie David. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sounds just delicious. A bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Look okay. at how disgusting my fingernails are. I don't care. My brain is bleeding. We need a little bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of personal hygiene over here. Well, it's telling me how to move. That'll be it. Nope. I want all the light in the world, please. Oh my god, we get to fuck with all the physics here. Ah! Oh, the mug doesn't even break. I wanted to prove my manliness in other ways. So when it comes to me actually shitting myself, I won't feel so bad. I never want to read that Lovecraftian monster right there. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that, shall we? How do I put it down? What is that goddamn sound? And also, what are these? I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna trash my house as much as I can to avoid actually going outside. No, 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 no. I want that pen knife. I wanna be able to stab the monsters in the fucking face. Is that allowed? Apparently not. Well, I have no idea where I'm going. Look at all this. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Well, I don't know. That's what you're meant to be helping me out with, buddy. You didn't microwave it, did you? You're not trying to heat it up? A nice little meal out of it? No? But fast food. I should find something healthier on my way home. Oh, I can't open the pizza? This sucks! There you go, I love it. <laughs> Gravity just doesn't exist in this game. Look how slow that falls. Reaches terminal velocity immediately. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? I'm gonna leave the fridge open. I mean, if the game is gonna freak the shit out of me, the least I can do is drive up its electric bill. Ugh. Oh, I don't like it. Why is the house portion, the safe moment, why is that already terrifying? What do we got? We got an answer machine? Hey, Simon, Message? It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Chances are, Jesse, I'm gonna be hey, dead by that time, so, uh. Love you, Mr. Mean it. No one talks like this. Oh, 
<laughs> the hell was that? I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Does that mean I'm actually meant to do that? I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna send an email from. Can I just sit here and play, uh, off-brand Xbox, please? What is that? That is the worst-looking game console I've ever seen. Right, let's have a little look. Massive recoil! As instead of, like, total recoil- This is great, they got a few references here. Right. Most of Washington which I'm gonna un not understand. Now. Thank you, brain. I mean, you didn't watch TV. Am I meant to find a disc to put it in? Can I just mess with this house like a shitload before we actually start? Because that's really, really nice. My mess with this house, I mean, completely trash everything he owns, preferably. Get well soon, love, mom. Aww, it's an adorable little card. If only I wasn't about to die. Sorry, mom. What do we got here? Uh, I don't think I can even read that. Some kind of weird calculations, as well as a weird little chibi fly. Well, I wish I could bring you with me, little chibi fly. I'm sure you'd protect me. What do we got here? David Munchie, Neurograph Session, 30th April, 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday, and I'll get back to you when it's confirmed. Sincerely, David Munshi. And we got, uh, Aaron Peak, new prescription. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear that your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show that your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, uh, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could become could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prozozin uh, to help with your nightmares. Oh, good! There's nightmares as well, as if the monsters trying to eat out my arsehole weren't enough. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I'll see you next week. And Saturday off. Hi, Jesse. You probably forgot. Oh, so, forgot here's me sad. reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow. I.e., I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. Oh, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're actually put on shelves where people are able to see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. Well, I guess we'll send it. I don't see what kind of impact that's gonna have, considering I'm sure better we're gonna die. Never. Maybe this game is marketed as a horror game, but is actually perfectly safe. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mess with- oh, it's another chibi little dude. Am I meant to recognize you? Because I fucking don't, and that's why you're going over there. Right, what do we got here? Aww. Oh, we got a happy little image there. With our wife that looks five years old. Well, we're going to jail. What do we got here? Loads of random shit I don't- oh, that might have said something on the back. It doesn't. Hmm. I mean, none of this seems particularly important. Robin McConnell. Don't even know who that is, unfortunately, because I'm a cultureless swine. I guess we're getting out of here. Oh, Summer's it's daytime. Gone. Hope it's a good one. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm not going. You know what? Fuck this game. We're gonna stay in the nice happy world. I can even turn on the lights. I, you know what? Since the game's being nice to me, and since that the, the, it's daytime out there, I'm gonna close the fridge. And me and the game are gonna get on just fine. I won't waste its electric bill. I'm gonna be real nice to it. And can I open the window? No. How scary is the bathroom? Is the bathroom scary? The bathroom doesn't even seem scary. Is the shower scary? Oh, it's just a nice little happy walk-in sim simulator around a little suburban home. What do we got here? Some deodorant? Fuck you. Some- I'm gonna turn on the lights again. All the light in the world is necessary here, thank you. I can't find that fucking fluid for the life of me. Unless it's in here. Which it ain't. Are there other rooms? Like... Yeah. Why would you leave this out, you fucking- you piece- Classic cheese! I too go and just order cheese from fast food places. What's this? To Simon Jack, we got shitloads of mail. I'm a popular boy. Thanks for the keys, I guess. But also, where the fuck am I going? There it is. Oh, I finally found it. Okay, it was hanging out in here. What do we got? Downtown accident kills a young woman. Oh dear. Oh dear, is this all in my head? I'm no longer happy about this game, you fucker. Toronto. Yesterday a driver distracted by her children ran a red light. Oh, this doesn't sound like us. Causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street in Spadina Road. Uh, the mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. Oh, maybe, maybe we're the other party in this. The other party was less lucky. 
as the car crashed into the into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, oh god, survived, but with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Driver of the SUV, whose name has probably not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Well, I hope your kids are traumatized for life because they've ruined my existence. Oh, look at that little mouth icon. This game can't be all that scary. Here we go. Please don't be some kind of psychotic drug that's gonna make me see horrible things. I swallowed that entire bottle. It's like milk. Like including the glass. It's like sucking on a penny. Well, stop sucking it then. Why is it full of solids? I guess that means now we're heading outside, right? And why have you been sucking on pennies? Why you know what that tastes like, you freak, huh? God, maybe we deserve to be in that horrific car crash. It's a really interesting way of storytelling. I'd like a few more cutscenes, because cutscenes will make me feel a little safe. I guess this sort of counts, am I right? Maybe? Hello, homeless Jesus. Will you protect me, homeless Jesus? What are you saying? I'm trying to listen to you, Jesus, but you're not making any sense. Jesse the Grimoire. I, why are we friends with a radish? We are absolutely a psychopath. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. Aww. I should be able to come oh, to the store sweet after scan. Don't sweat it. We're totally going to romance him. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Simon does not sound like he gives a single fuck. It's wonderful. You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Why are we oh, so jovial about our wife, girlfriend, sister, daughters? Fucking like death! What is this? I can't stand up or anything. We're literally just listening to Homeless Jesus. Oh no, we're out of here. That's worrying. The scares must be getting closer! Yep, that's spooky enough in itself. Oh no, no, but I am once again the only person here. Hello? Which is very front. What Dr. the? Dr. Munchie? Why would you put this here, Munchie Man? Where is it? No! I thought this place would be busy. Who flipped over the table purely to reveal this disgusting clown boy? Jesus! You can literally see the amount of kids he's touched in his eyes! 74. Right, um, let's have a little look around, shall we? Well, I can start doing some decorating. Is that actually allowed? Please tell me it works. This will be the n true next-gen experience if it does. Or absolutely not, then. Well, it's still daytime. Which makes me feel a tiny little bit, maybe a bit safe, sort of a tiny amount. What do we got here? Well, that's a little bit less clowny, and therefore a little bit less terrifying. But it's still freaking me the fuck out. Nothing in this game doesn't. Can I break into Munchy Man's emails? Probably a horrible idea in the long run, but I'm gonna do it. I'm also gonna smash his PC to pieces. It's what you get for working on, like, a 2002 school computer. What do we got here? Um, from David Munchy. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book us book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner right, rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping that Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient who was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. That was the 27th of April. It's now the 2nd of May by the looks of things. Okay. We're locked out. Uh, I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security. Talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project. And finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Paul. Hmm. 
I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Why is escape never a thing anymore? I want it to be- it's the only- it's the only button I understand. What do we got here? Trial and error? That's a horrible name to call your fucking scientific method. My brain is going to fall out! I don't even want to read that. I don't want to know what's happening to me. That's probably the worst idea I've ever had. Can we, can we just leave now? Is that a possibility? Also, give me a little memory card. Can I jam it in? Come on! I'm a, I mean, I can never get the fucking USB in the right way anyway, but I don't think this is the right idea. I don't think that's the right way around, Simon! Right, what do we got here? I can't read that for the fucking life of me, but it's not giving me any other options. Maybe it's totally useless. Improved reverse projector technique. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck's that? I've got his pencil case. Ah! You're fucked now, munchie. What are you gonna do to my head these days? Oh, I just realized that I was meant to, uh, meant to actually take note of that. Because that means they must have left the code for the office somewhere nearby, right? But where? Unless it's in here. 2501, there you go. Let's give that a shot. Do I actually need to do it perfectly? Okay, good. It's given me it way easy. Mm, it didn't work. Two, five, oh. Th that fucking worked? I'd only got to two, five, oh. I think the game just went real easy on me there. No, I don't like it. It's a corridor. We're going home. Oh, but you guys will be so disappointed in me. And also, I just learned how to run. Which is probably the worst idea. But absolutely a necessary idea. Date. Mom. What? James G. Time 9 to 12. Who the fuck is James G? No idea, but give me your hose immediately. I'm going to need it. I need some kind of weapon. I don't like this. First aid, I'm not even allowed to make my fucking bones work again. Uh, why am I so short as well in comparison to these doors? Did I- I mean, the game's gonna be scary enough. Did I really need to play as a dwarf? That looks like the right way. Average test results. None of this looks particularly good for me. What's in here? A place I'm absolutely never meant to go. I'm creeped out enough already. Hello, little hand drill. I need ya. I don't think that was what I was meant to do at all. I'm literally just stepping on all their little circuits. I'm sorry, the horseborn is gonna get destroyed. Um, I'm not all that sorry about that. Can I just jab that into my fucking stomach so we never have to do this again? Come on. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll go without AIDS, I guess. What does that say? Look at, look at the amount I'm fucking around purely so I don't have to go into the scary parts. Let's turn on the lights. There you go. We've got... Literally nothing useful by the looks of things. I thought this was gonna be a way to find a shitload of uh, Secret little spooky sneaky secrets Secret secrets. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. There you go. Seems like I'm able to access that. No, it's totally pointless Well time to shit myself. I guess here we go Bracing Oh, you're just in here You didn't really Care when I opened the door and immediately ran away? Sorry, I have, I have extreme anxiety. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. You're telling me you're it's not even a doctor! Yeah, it's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction. No! To help people like you. Exit my oh, sockets you, immediately! Uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. I will never be ready for a, a man who isn't even a doctor to start tickling my brain cells. What are you doing? Who thought this was a good idea? Fuck you, man. I'm gonna beat you to death. Is that allowed? No, but I can jam it directly inside of you. Interesting. Well, I mean, if you're gonna mess with my brain, I might as well place a touch shitload of household objects in yours. There you go. Please don't touch anything. Just sit down and we'll get started. Come on, let's do this. I'm gonna break every single fucking piece of your equipment so this can't happen. And the scary shit is never ever gonna happen. Ah, I can't break a thing! He didn't mind it when I was like beating him to death with a mouse, but as soon as I touch his little buttons that don't even do anything, that's when he gets pissed. Can I talk to you? So, what exactly are we doing? Yeah, I would like to know that. We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. 
The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> I mean, you're the worst in trying to make your patients calm. I don't know what to say, man. But I guess you're all willing me to uh, let him finger my little brain cells, so... You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Why are we yes, so casual it. about this? It must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, that sounds boring we as fuck. What's the point? To outlive the best of us. You know what? I'm done listening to you fucking ramble on about how you're probably gonna kill me. In the scary murder bondage chair we go! Tie me up, Doc. Let's do this. <laughs> what is that? He's taking off my face! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. Wonderful weather we're having, guys. Really, uh, what a, what a lovely right. day this is. Let's get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Probably should have checked that before you strapped uh, Canada, me into the mind Bunchy. melter. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Huh. Let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Jeez, I think. Oh. Oh, uh, 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 uh? I didn't expect it to die a minute. Oh, no. What happened? No way are we already here. I wanted a little bit more peace. I was psyching myself up. Hello? Mr. Munchie? And now I've had a stroke. Did oh, I'm so not wrong? ready. I'm so not fucking ready. There's blood here already. Am I even human anymore? What is- why this are we- This isn't funny. It's- no! No, it really isn't. I don't think he thinks it is either, considering he's blatantly dead. Do we have a light switch anywhere? Ah! Thank you so very much. Of course my eyes don't function anymore. Thank you. There we go. How did I get here? Oh yeah! This is absolutely not where we were- how did we not Figure notice this? this? I just need to stay calm. No need to make things worse. Okay, okay. Unlock terminal from service console. I can try. If you could maybe give me a little info as to what the fuck any of that means and where the service console might be. Oh, service console. That was easy. Insert Omni tool. I don't know if you've noticed, game, I am not in fucking Mass Effect. I don't know what you want me to do. I literally can't even begin. Well, you know what? Oh, what was that? Something moved. Oh, we have a little lean mechanic. That's horrible. I'm just gonna cower in a corner and cry for the rest of my life, actually. I think that's fair enough. I probably prefer to starve to death right now. Literally no idea what to do. Do I need an Omni tool? I hate how slow I am, man. It's fucking... It's real creepy. Do, do I really? What do I do? Stand clear, door opens and closes automatically. Well, it clearly fucking doesn't, does it? Unless I need to put on one of these? These look terrifying in themselves. Whose neck is that long? Arseholes, that's who. Scary fucking monster arseholes. Oh, it's teaching me to break out the window. With the scariest noises known to man. That didn't fucking work, did it? What's the biggest thing I can find? Hello, chair. That was incredibly pathetic. Can I not just... Ah, there you go. Ha, you can just use the little scroll wheel. That is wonderful. Please. Please don't... I can already hear growling. 
but I think it's only fucking- What? Where am I? Why are we not reacting any worse than we already are? Come on, dude. I'm- I'm gonna cry. There you go. Okay. Okay. We can open this now. Ah! Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Just, uh, just a little misunderstanding, that's all. That's all, just one of my brain explosions that are so very common. What have I done? What the fuck is that? It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. I'll promise you as many as you can, or they don't take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comms out. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. I would, I, do I would like to take this opportunity to say, fuck you, Carl. Why have you locked me in? Hello, Vault Boy jumpsuit. I don't know what the hell that's doing here. Oh, and a little comb. Well, I'm glad someone's got time to do a little bit of personal grooming while they're getting embedded in fucking walls. What is this? Rice. Oh my god, we're in space. This is dried fucking space food, isn't it? Munch print, how adorable. Oh, I don't even feel scared anymore. What is this? Do I put it back inside? In you go. Oh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. That can go over there. Fuck you, I've got a lot to defend myself. Like this little entirely transparent water bowl. That's a really cool visual effect and I don't know why. Why does that look so good? Oh, that's really cool. That's realistic. Goodbye. Um, yeah, I think this place might have been entirely useless to me. Which is a real shame. Let's enter the toilet. Could really go for a nice little happy urine right now. Nice little tasty piss. Come on. Yes. Yes, this is, uh... This is just, what the fuck? Who's been leaving green fluid in here? How are the aliens already here and that they've learned to use toilets? Even I've barely learned to do that. There's no way we're gonna be uh, be able to outsmart this bastard. I don't even know if it's an alien. I don't know what it is. Which somehow makes it even scarier. The more progress I make, the more likely I am to get my ass kicked. But I guess that's the case in, uh... In any walk of life, what do we got going on here? How did technology just explode so quick? Look at these little robots. Being hung from the goddamn ceiling, weirdly. And I, don't tell me there's a sanity meter in this game. I'm not ready for that, man. I'm really not ready for that. Okay. Why is my face exploding? Alright, sure. Did that really happen or is that just because I'm going insane? Either way, I took that really well, actually. Well done, me. I'm proud of you. Very, very proud. Time to go all schizophrenic mode to, uh, keep myself company. What the fuck is that? Well, it ain't an Omni tool, so I don't fucking care, unfortunately. Any chance I could have a friend? I'd love a friend. A friend would be really nice. Any of you happen to be alive? Any of you happen to want to be my friend? No, but you do want to invade my skull. Okay, well, you can do that if you really want. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? I'd like to draw attention to the goddamn nuke over here. Wait, did I- did I exit the tour? Oh, sorry, guys. What the fuck's going on? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. What's wrong with you, buddy, huh? I'm gonna show you Why are you just structure way? gel? Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to jizz in you if you're gonna take me home, but something tells me that ain't gonna happen. 